Is it Syndicate, the like, really old PC game? Was it called like Syndicate Wars or something? I watched a bit of a video about, or well, start of a YouTube video about that the other day. I remember that being like, a, there was a banging old PC game called like Syndicate or Syndicate Wars in like the 90s. That I remember this dude used to come and babysit me and my brother when, I don't know how old we would have been, like under 10, I guess. But like this, this guy when you come and babysit and then he would play that on PC. Me and my brother would just sit there like watching this awesome game this this dude used to play it was super cool i don't know if i've really played it myself probably a little bit syndicate wars yeah i'm pretty sure that's the one i'm thinking of we had pong when i was being babysat ah just in that that wonderful like warm afterglow that you get once you've got your win for the day and then you can just chill like, ah, nothing you know nothing matters anymore and nothing else matters. No, we got the win. We even had back-to-back -back good games coming up to it. Like, whatever. Pong needs a remake with microtransactions. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, there it is. And progressive, progressive Pong bats. Get on it, Crafton. It's the game we all want. Monetized Pong. Don't forget to use code. Shit, it's been looted. Who looted this? They're long gone. They're pong gone, mate. Not loitering, are you? Did you just go rock or did you go compound? I feel like you probably went. Oh, you're there. Ah, fuck you, Tommy Robinson. I wish that was the Tommy Robinson. Get in the fucking bin. Hopefully not an unrelated, different person called Tommy Robinson. I did have a sweet handheld game called Alien Attack. That rings a bell. Uh, what other gun did he have? He didn't even really... Oh, he did try and fire a canine at me, didn't he? Should we take a bolty? Give it a go. We've not been doing much bolting lately. Uh, who had the Mattel handheld sports game and... Did you put your jacket over your head to see it better while you're on the school bus? Yeah, I remember the screens on some of those old things being like really, um, yeah, they did. There was like, a, like the Game Boy had like a special screen thing that you put in front of it that you could buy, didn't it? That made it like, was it like the light that made it easier to see? It was something like that, wasn't it? As a kid, I had an old TV that had a pool dial to turn on and you had to turn a dial to change channels. Almost every Monday through Friday, I get woken up by the TV turning on. <laughs> nice. I almost feel like we should stay with that MK because we did just absolutely annihilate that, annihilate that guy with it, didn't we? You want to buy a Game Boy Pokemon in yellow but so expensive? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Some of that old that retro stuff is super pricey now. Um, do we need any more loot? We could do with a bit of ammo, couldn't we? Let's go over to this little compound here. I guess he was probably looting here, right? And came over. He didn't look like he had a vehicle. So let's just go and loot these. Buddy. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -do -do. That one. Ba -do -da -ba -bo. Um, maybe take SLR for just ammo reasons. We don't have to faff around doing any looting of. Trying to find uh, fives doing. You pulled up at the wrong spot, sir. I just need another 17 people to do this, and we'll be on for the 20 bomb. We'll just wait here. There we go. Here's another car. Suppressor on. Oh my, there's literally another guy pulling up. Oh, he, he's changed. It's, like, it's quite a lot of dead guys here. We didn't even hit him.
Keep them coming. More. More. There's literally another vehicle coming. <laughs> Come here. I mean, eventually people are going to turn up and be like, oh, there's, there's 14 cars parked around this compound. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll leave it. That guy's got a ton of util for us, which is handy. Maybe if we hide the cars a little bit. Where can we put the cars where they might not notice them? Pop them, all, pop them all in here. Shh. Come on. I need to make sure they don't see the ghillie. The ghillie's the giveaway, isn't it? They don't want to... They might not want to push that. Yush. Skin them all as land boats. Oh yeah, I can do that, can I? Can I? Oh, I think it's... Let's... They're fine. <laughs> we'll leave them. Leave them to it. Oh, TBG in the lobby. Are you the farmer? I'm right on the edge of the zone here. We might get some more coming in. Oh, I forgot about this one. Jesus. There's a man. All right. Cross on over. And find this guy. Where are you? You're dead, I think. Yep, you're dead. Bus guys, are you dead as well? Also dead. Definitely dead. Definitely dead. Who did the killing? Here's me old crate, little bus coming in. So many vehicles. Not really a good spot to be in, it doesn't offer much cover. Good vision, shit cover. Right in the head. That's why it's nice to have the sevens gun rather than the fives. Who's shooting at you? And someone was, yeah, someone was trying to shoot this guy. Gotta move, but not not super far. We should get some vision on some of these guys at some point. With this car's freaking everywhere as well if we need one. Okay. It's just a little bit of a dip there that these guys are kind of able to use. 
Where are we going? Kind of, it's kind of along through this valley, following the road. Plenty of trees and stuff. Blue is now. Oh, hello! Just saw him. Now moving. Took some hits, didn't they? Take this um, bus. Not a ton of P90 ammo left, but it's still enough for some kills. An abandoned dip. Eleven alive. Who is he shooting at? I suppose is a ah, is a good question. I might just go towards this crate. I mean, on the off chance it has P90 rounds in it, I need to go that way anyway, so. Let's just go over there. Still quite a few up. Use this for a bit of extra cover. Not a P90. safe here but we'll give it a punt not massively overlooked do only have nine bullets left so we are gonna try and take this guy's gun give us a minute mate please oh what did i just throw i think that was a molly Possibly a frag grenade. It was a frag grenade. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Um. Who sniped me then? I don't have much ammo for this either, to be honest. Barely better than um Barely better than my P90. Still six people up in this zone, it's kinda nuts. Cannot see these guys. We didn't leave anything there, did we? No. We've got... Oh, hello, mate. I like that we, we pulled our aim onto the um, onto his legs and that actually helped us because we get the limb <laughs> multiplier. What did this guy have? Oh, yes. And a JS9. Much better. Thank you. And a 6X. Thank you. Three up. 
One guy over here somewhere, one guy off over the side, like over here somewhere down in the dip. Was fighting a minute ago. We oh, just saw him right at the back there. Not ideal. He might be able to see me if he gets on that rock. And I've got this guy sniping at me from the other side as well. I mean, he's definitely just driven himself out of the zone there. Probably lost a tire here. No. Oh, we lost one. But... Where are you, last guy? A little head there. Thank you. How does he get away with that? So you lit him up. There we go. <laughs> Did he have to run down? Was the zone pushing him there? I'm not sure he was getting quite pushed. I guess he was. Well, GG's. Is that our third 13 kill game game in a row? <laughs> Seems to be the, the magic number today, doesn't it? He was very confident with that bolt action. Possibly a little bit misplaced. Lucky number 13, yeah. Finishing the down guy for going for the guy still up was a bold choice. Well, I hadn't seen the other guy yet. I just saw a guy and I was like, maybe they both died. And this guy, you know, is self resig or something. So I just I just shot what I could see. It was quite nice though, wasn't it? Shooting the guy self resing and then turning and shooting on the actual... The guy that was up. Hello friends, I hope you're enjoying the video today. If you want to get access to even more like this, then I've got bonus videos available exclusively on our Patreon page, and you can get access to that from just five bucks a month. On top of that, you will also get access to our Friday community sessions where you can jump in my squad and have some fun on stream. Patreon is the best way to support the channel as they don't take a huge cut of the money like Twitch does. So if you think my content is worth five bucks a month to you, then go check it out and see if you like it. You can find out more and sign up on patreon.com slash thebeardguys. The link is down in the video description.